Welcome to my Java classes. In this video, we are going to see how in a switch case, we take a character as a switching variable. For that, the program what we have taken is to accept the first character of the direction and display the name of the direction. So for example, if I am inputting small e in that case, it should show me east. As well as like if I put small w, it should show me west. So for that, I have written the full program. Now you can see in this case, we are accepting a character from the user. Now, and what happens when we accept the character? Here, the character is what we have accepted is D. Now, we are using this character D as the switching variable. And if you remember in our previous videos where we have discussed switch case in good details, there we have said that the switching variable matches with the case. And the case is labeled with a constant. So, in this case, if my switching variable is of character type the constant which is which I should use for labeling the case also should be a character so here you can see I have written the symbol n within single inverted quotes the moment I put n within single inverted quotes it becomes a character constant so in this code what is going to happen if user is supplying n small n lowercase n and then the switch case is going to take that value for matching it with the cases and with which case it is going to get the match it is going to get the match with the case where it is labeled with small n so flow of control will be allowed to enter and will start executing the statements one after another till it gets break or the switch case terminates so the concept is fall through we have discussed in the previous video if you have not seen the previous video, I would I'll request you to go and see that video properly because with those concepts here, this can be clearly understood. Now, in this case, when the flow of control is allowed to enter, it is going to find a statement system.out.println in north. So north is going to be displayed. Now after that, due to fall through, it is going to continue. But what will it find the next statement is break. So due to that, it is going to stop executing anymore the switch case block. So after this, the flow of control will jump out of the switch case block. And here you can see there is nothing remaining after the switch case. So the program is going to terminate right after that. So in this case, what is going to happen? I have taken four cases with four labels which are small n, small e, small w and small s and if it is not matching with any of these four it is going to provide invalid input as the message, as the output. So let us see what happens when I run the code. So I am going to run the code with small n so I expect not as the output. So I got not as the output. Now I'm going to run it once more. But this time I will not put small n, rather I'm going to put capital N. Now do you think we will get any uh, like expected result or not? No. Why? Because the capital N is not going to match with any of the cases because I have labeled it with what? I have labeled all four cases with lowercase characters so in this case it is going to show me invalid input now how to fix it the easiest way of fixing it is if we try to utilize the concept of fall through but a mediocre thinking is going to give you this idea what am I doing? I am going to replicate the same code once for small letters, once for capital letters. 
this will definitely function but this is not going to be a good idea because this length of the code is going to increase so what shall I do I shall do away with this part and without this part also it is going to give me the same output and this is because of the phenomena which we know as fall through now what will happen if user is supplying capital N the case capital N is going to allow the flow of control to enter into it it is going to enter here and will subsequently find the next statement which is to be printing north and if the user is supplying small n in that case too it is going to get inside and will print north and after that it is going to meet break which will result in terminating the switch case block and later the program so what I actually should do is I should put case capital E case capital W and case capital S now with this our problem is going to be solved completely now I'm going to just test it if I put small e it shows me east and if I put capital E if I put capital E then it shows me east so that gives us a clear picture that the code is working so students try more such codes type it yourself run it in the IDE because you need to experience it and for your reference I'm going to keep the same code in the first comment under this video as I could not show you the full program in one single screen so keep coding and explore new things learn more and more and if you find any query in the process of learning please put it in the comments I will definitely take care of that happy coding thank you